Rochester police ramping up patrols on Jefferson Avenue after another wave of violence plagued the city of Rochester. This area in particular saw three shootings, one of them killing a boy just 15 years old. Mackenzie Misslin joining us now in studio with the work being done by Rochester police. Mackenzie. Adam, Rochester police have implemented a command unit on Jefferson Avenue in hopes of further decreasing the violence in the area. Because while gun violence numbers are down, we're still seeing horrific incidents play out. Rochester remains under a state of emergency for gun violence as the order was extended just last week. So far this year, there have been 150 shooting victims in the city, while last year there were 351 shooting victims total. Although shootings are down from last year, Lieutenant Greg Bella with the Rochester Police Department says violence is still a major problem for some neighborhoods. It's tough because if you look at our year-to-date shooting stats, our, our shootings and our murders are, are significantly down from last year. But at the same time, when you have a, a weekend like we just had, we had three different people murdered uh, and unrelated, what, what appear to be unrelated incidents just on Friday night alone. It, it, it's hard to go out and tout our stats as being lower when we have things like that that are occurring. RPD has begun to implement their command unit on Jefferson Avenue, helping to keep more officers on location while giving them the tools to patrol. However, Miriam Hojeda, who works at the Holy Apostles Church on Lyle Avenue, says she feels like violence is still an issue in her area, and oftentimes police can't respond to their calls. I know it's they're probably overwhelmed with things, but I hope that they know that when we call, it's because we need them. But Bello says they're doing their best to patrol higher volume areas of crime while being understaffed. Most of our shifts, if not all, are, are generally operating at, at minimum staffing levels. So when you put together a plan of how you want to staff something, you, you have your bare minimums that you have to meet. Calls hold at times, unfortunately, because we're not, we're not staffed, unfortunately, to hit all of those calls. The command unit will be stationed on Jefferson Avenue for the rest of the week with officers rotating shifts. There will also be multiple officers patrolling neighboring streets during this time. Adam. Mackenzie, thank you for that report.